Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm bleh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Emily Weisling. I'm a junior at Waverly High School. And this is my poem, My Pen, My Sword. I am a writer. I analyze every single situation and try to figure out how I can warp it to fit into my stories. In geometry class, I drew my character is getting exiled to a plane, and not a plane like with tall grass and flowers, but a geometrical plane is in a never-ending dimension where they could walk in any direction, but they never really go anywhere. One day, I was talking to my mom, and she just grabbed my hand and crushed my lifelong dreams of being a hand model. Because hand models don't have hideous bumps on their fingers from constant writing. Hand models are not writers. Sometimes I'm writing away the newest part to my story, music playing in the background. When I look at the clock, I'd become so lost in the lines of my paper, the lead smoothly marking the spaces between them, hypnotizing me until, wait, when did it become 3 AM? And as I'm listening to these songs in the background, I try to relate my stories to them. All Time Low creates my love scenes. 21 Pilots creates my character's realization of worth. Hollywood Undead is just for those times when my characters are driving late at night trying to forget their problems. I have a million different stories written with only the first chapter. Because I can't think of what to write in the details to fill the gaps. I can't create interesting enough unimportant content to develop the relationships or characters, so I get bored with filling the page with gobbledygook. I want to keep my story moving, but I get stuck on the first paragraph because I don't know what kind of Halloween costume my character should be wearing, and so I give up and move on to something newer. I buy giant purses just so I can fit my journals in them. You know, just in case I just in case I come up with the topic for my first bestseller while grocery shopping. Who knows, maybe I see my muse working the checkout line with his perfectly coiffed hair. Perhaps I end up seeing an interesting character and end up making them an interesting character. <laughs> I have notes on my phone with stupid miscellaneous lines I thought sounded cool, like guys that like me all seem to have no sense of direction, and I'm sure this is no coincidence. If I had a dollar for every time a guy got lost while driving me on a date, I'd have two dollars. But considering I've only been on a date with two different guys, that's 100%, and I'm just saying maybe there's a reason that that boy that drove me home those two times kept on missing the turn to my neighborhood. People always ask me who I'm texting, but in reality, I'm trying to write the perfect death scenario. For the boy that put my naive heart through a wood chipper, I can still feel my heart beating in those tiny little shards. He did not succeed in killing me. But in my poems, I have succeeded in killing him. <laughs> They say the pen is mightier than the sword, but the pen is my sword, and I will slay any obstacles in my way. Up high in my castle of unfinished pieces, I will eventually bind those papers together to create a magnificent masterpiece. <laughs>